Okay, so we were kind of talking about um, what kind, like scope, right? And that is the big killer on any monthly accounting work is the scope. And a lot of times people, they say, I don't want to do CFO services. And I'm totally fine with that. There's a lot of people in the group that don't want to do any monthly accounting whatsoever. They don't want to do CFO type work. That's fine. But what I always try to do, and I think we talked a little bit about this too, is looking at, okay, what has this person done? Because if, they're, if they don't want to do accounting, but they've been doing a great job pricing, they're doing a great job of scope, and they just don't enjoy the work, that's fine. Or is the reason that I've misscoped and I've mispriced and I'm just resenting these clients because it's too much work and I'm losing money on the deals? And to, you know, as what I care about is if somebody's got a monthly accounting business, I'm like, look, why don't we just restructure a couple of deals or sell a couple of new clients to where we can get an understanding of, okay, could this possibly work for us? And then at that point, figure out what really needs to make sense. Um, okay. So I think this was some of the question, right? So CFO services at 400 a week, monthly financial review calls, financial dashboard, pricing analysis, QuickBooks, ADP guidance when needed, tax filings, implement, um, and track satisfaction scores. Okay. So here's, here's the key, and I can bring you on, Eric, if you want to go through this, so you can let me know once I, uh, once I finish some of my thoughts on this. The biggest thing is, I see, okay, I can talk here. Give me a second here to go through some of this. When we think about the four tiers, right? So I think about sub-account management, sub-account management, which is AP, AR, payroll, inventory, fixed assets. It's also, if cash is just out of control, like if there's like 40 bank accounts or something, and we're, you know, we're doing all of that work, and, you know, that can absolutely be considered additional sub-account management. And that does happen. Or credit cards, right? Whether that be cash, credit cards, there's just a totally crazy environment there. Generally, I want you staying away from all of this, all of this, right? So, again, one big red flag I'm seeing in here is, blah, blah, blah. Now, and I don't know what guidance means, right? Does guidance mean that you're wrecking transactions or you're available for questions? And that's very different. And then if, even if you are going to be available for questions, you want your team to be able to have some sort of data, like, like knowledge base that you guys are sharing between each other and building on. Monthly financial review calls. So, you know, I would also say not to make those mandatory. So don't make those mandatory. Make those optional, right? Like I would prefer, well, well once you get a team, I want to make those mandatory. But when it's just you and you're running the business, give them a link. They'll schedule intermittently. They won't schedule every single month. And that's fine. Give them a link to schedule. And then, oh, yeah, we missed the call. Great, yeah. You, you have my link, right? Okay, perfect. Once you get a team of people, I would really require those on a monthly basis just so that business owner sees the value and you keep enabling that. But if it, I would give them a link when it's just you in the early days and you're trying to get the business you know, to a certain level. Eventually, I would, I would require it, but not in the beginning. Um, and a lot of people might take it, but not everybody. Financial dashboard updates 20 key areas. Okay, so that I want to be really clear on. What, okay, so the financial dashboard, right? Let's go here, monthly accounting. That to me is just bank recs and the month end close. So that's just bank recs and the month end close. Okay, and then we've got controller. Now controller is sort of complex accounting. Now, when I think about complex, complex accounting, there's all sorts of things that it could be. It could be if there's like a multi-entity structure, right? So it could be multi-entity, consolidations, it could be accrual accounting, right? Like let's say, um, you know, that they have to go from cash to accrual every single month and they haven't actually, or they don't even have to, and they just have to close the books from an accrual perspective. That's some more complex engagement than just doing the cash, uh, the cash statements. And so that might be an additional tier of service that we're going to look for at charging for. And then we're going to look at chief financial officer. Okay. And now CFO services right here really could be wrapped up in these two, right? These two. Now, um, and also tax filings, you know, this, all of that is included for 400 bucks a week. You know, so 400 bucks a week, right? Let's do the math on that. 400 bucks a week. How big is this company in terms of their annual sales? 400 bucks a week times 52 weeks. That's 20,800 on the year. That is 20,800 on the year. And I'm going to get you unmuted here in a second. Um, but that's a question I'm going to ask as well, right? What really are we doing? So this is forward looking, forward looking or other consulting, like potentially the pricing type of work. Um, the, the problem is 
I recommend people never take on any of this work. I really don't recommend taking it on. If you want to, and I think I saw, um, I'm, I'm currently working on testing out a variable process with this. So I, I would love for there to be a base price plus a fee per transaction. And I'm testing that out with some people right now. I haven't nailed that yet, but I think because of the nature of that work, it makes sense to have a, a base fee plus a variable based on number of bills and number of invoices. So be on the lookout for that in the future, but I don't have an answer and a process on that today. So then I'm really just looking at these. And one of the key things to think about is what's the bare minimum I could offer to get the client to pay X, okay? Another way to ask it is what are the 20% of activities that make up 80% of the value? So when we look at this, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And by the way, nowhere on here do I see bank reconciliations in the month end close. I'm guessing that's what this is. But does that mean that you're also doing all the payroll and all the AP? That is... You know, if that's the case, that's going to be too much. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you on right now, and we will talk through some of these issues.